Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade this 13 inch mid 2012 MacBook Pro to use a solid state drive. So these MacBook Pro 2012s, they came with mechanical hard drives which are slow and they get slower over time and sometimes they get so slow that you can barely use them anymore. So it's really time to upgrade them using a solid state drive. So these MacBook Pro 2012s are very good machines. This particular one has a Core i5 2.5 GHz processor and 4 GB of RAM and an Intel Graphics HD 4000, which is pretty decent and it's still usable even in 2020, which is the time of recording. I think the main downside for this particular model of MacBook Pro is that the screen resolution is only 1280 by 800, which is a little bit low by today's standards. But if you think about it, a lot of the web has been built for tablets and kind of uh, fixed content widths. So this is probably okay for most people. Um, it's just a little bit harder to, to use things like large spreadsheets or you know very large documents um, but if you don't use that kind of thing then i think this computer is very much well worth upgrading the computer can also handle um, the, the operating system up to the catalina 10.15 um, which is a real boon i mean this one has only got high sierra but we'll be upgrading that later um, it doesn't support big sur which is only available on basically 2013 models and, and later so the process for switching out the solid state drive with the hard drive is really simple. We just make sure the computer's turned off and then we're gonna flip it over. Then we get our standard Phillips head screwdriver and then unscrew all of the bottom case screws. So once the screws are out, we'll just take out the bottom cover by lifting it like so. First thing you should do is disconnect the battery so that we don't create any shorts in the logic board. Then we remove this hard drive. Then we need to remove these holders, and these can be removed using a T6 screwdriver. So we're going to set this aside, and what we're going to do is put those brackets back onto the new crucial solid state drive that we're going to install. So once those brackets are back in, all we need to do is connect this to the SATA. <clears throat> so once those um, <clears throat> so once those screws are back in, all we need to do is connect the new solid state drive to the SATA connector, like so. And then we can insert it back into its correct position. Then we can put this bracket back in and screw it back in with this normal Phillips head screwdriver. Great. To complete this job, all we need to do is put the battery back in and then put the bottom case back on and put all the screws back in making sure that we put the three long ones in here and then the rest back in its normal place. So on the left, I am demonstrating the original hard drive starting from a cold boot. And on the right, I'm comparing it to the solid state drive we've installed. And what I've done is I've cloned the data from the old hard drive to the new solid state drive. And we're comparing the speed at which they're loading the operating system. And as you can see, the, the solid state drive on the right is performing much faster and it's booted in in about 21 seconds and the original hard drive is still chugging along and moving very very slowly and this is all the more reason to remove your original hard drive and clone it to a solid state drive. I used a program called Carbon Copy Cloner which is completely free and all you have to do is plug it in with a 2.5 inch SATA interface and then use the software to clone the old operating system to the new solid state drive. Um, alternatively, you could also use internet recovery to install the operating system or a USB stick to do so.
So now that I've installed the new solid state drive, I'm just going to upgrade the operating system to Catalina, which is the latest that this computer supports. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my next tech video.